hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel travel free in today's video i'm going to explain you about merge sort in the subject of design and analysis of algorithms so in this video we will learn what is merge sort with a numerical example the concept of merge sort and the algorithm for merge sort along with the time complexity of the merge sort algorithm okay so let's get into the video you already know that uh, merge sort is an application of divide and conquer algorithm so you know how divide and conquer works right you will be dividing an array into number of sub arrays and then you will be performing operations on that sub arrays so here in merge sort also we will do the same process we will first divide the given array into number of sub arrays and then we will merge those sub arrays into a new array again and that array will be in a and that new sub new arrays with new array will be in a sorted manner okay it will be in a sorted way so this is about merge sort so now we have an example array with the help of this array we are going to see how the merge sort algorithm will work the basic concept is it is an application of divide and conquer that means you will be dividing the sub array into number of sorry you will be dividing the main array into number of sub arrays and then you will sort them and merge them okay so let's do the division process now let me show you the algorithm for merge sort first so this is your merge sort algorithm merge sort of a a is the array low low means the first position okay so this is low and high means the last position low comma high if low is less than high you are doing mid mid is equal to low plus high by 2 and then again you are performing merge sort from a to low low i mean low from low to mid again from mid plus 1 to high you are performing merge sort again that is recursively you are performing merge sort as long as the value of low is less than high you will be performing these steps recursively and then you will be calling the merge function so for this merge function we have a algorithm and that algorithm is the important that algorithm is the heart of this merge sort concept okay i will explain you that algorithm also first let us see how we are dividing the array okay here what is our condition to divide the array if low is less than high yes low is less than high your low is 0 and your high value is 8 yeah so low is less than high now mid is equal to low plus high by 2 low plus high by 2 means 0 plus 8 by 2 don't get confused here we are not using a of low and a of high that means we are not using the elements we are using the indexes only directly okay so mid is equal to low plus high by 2 so what is the value of low it is 0 and what is the value of high it is 8 0 plus 8 by 2 how much you will get you will get 4 that means you are doing merge sort now so here what you are doing merge sort of array a from low to mid that is you will do merge sort from a from low to mid right what is mid 4 and then the other merge sort will be a mid plus 1 to high mid plus 1 is 5 and what is high 8 that means you are dividing the array so let's divide this array a, 0 to 4 is the first array right so 15 5 24 8 1 so this is one array and for this you will get from 5 to 8 that is 3 16 10 and 20 in the other array now our next step is to again divide the array you have to recursively keep on dividing the array okay so let's take the indexes so also. i have written the respective indexes you can take the same indexes as it is from the question itself and this will become low this will become high this will become low this will become high for your sub arrays now let us divide these sub arrays further so what you have to do mid is equal to low plus high by 2 what is low 0 what is high 4 by 2 that is equal to 2 and here mid is equal to 5 plus 8 divided by 2 13 by 2 you will get 6.5 you can round it off to 6 okay that means now what your merge sort will become merge sort of low to mid is first and mid plus 1 to high is the second one right so what is low here 
a of 0 comma till mid is 1 array and a of mid plus 1 3 comma 4 is 1 more array here also same low to mid is 1 array and mid plus 1 to high is 1 array that means 5 comma 6 you will get in 1 array and 7 comma 8 you will get in 1 array low to mid mid plus 1 to high okay now let us do the sub array for this again for this we are doing the sub array 0 to 2 means 15 5 24 right next the other array will be 8 and 1 here also 5 and 6 in 1 array so it will be 3 and then 16 7 and 8 in 1 array 10 and then 20 now you have to still further divide it so this is 0 1 2 low plus high by 2 0 plus 2 by 2 uh, that means how much you will get you will get mid as 1 mid as 1 means how do you divide this low and mid in 1 so that means 15 and 5 will come into 1 array 24 alone will come into 1 array and these since there are only two elements you can directly split them 8 and 1 3 and 16 and 10 and 20 okay now what you have to do is every all the elements became single elements except this array so let us divide this also so 15 and then 5 done we are done with dividing the array into number of sub arrays now our task is to merge these arrays okay we have to start merging these arrays now let's start merging so you merge 15 and 5 now okay first so while merging whichever element is the lowest element you place it first okay among 5 and 15 which is lower 5 is lower so the array will be in this way 5 and 15 okay now you are going to join this 24 okay on joining 24 what you will get 5 15 and 24 you have to sort the elements in the order only okay so whatever order is whichever is greater you have to sort them you have to combine them in that order basically so now you're going to sort these both things so how do you sort these both things which is lower one so one comes first and then eight comes okay now you're going to merge these two arrays so when you're merging these two arrays you have to write all the elements in the order so what is the order first one and then 5 and then 8 and then 15 and then 24 okay now this is done let us keep it aside for time being let us come back here now you're going to merge these two so these two in the order it will be 3 and 16 okay now if you merge these two it is going to be 10 and 20 the same now you are going to merge these two things when you are merging these two what will happen see you have to write it in the order right so which element is lowest among all these four three so three comes first then followed by 10 then followed by 16 then followed by 20 okay so now this is one sub array and this is one sub array let us consider this as the left sub array okay let us consider this as left sub array and let us consider this as right sub array let us represent each element of left sub array with i and right sub array with j now you have to merge these two arrays how we are going to merge i'll show you okay let me write these two sub arrays in a separate paper and come back quickly and then let's start merging the array using the merge algorithm okay after that i will show you the code for the merge algorithm so that you will understand it more better okay, okay. now so we have our left sub array we have our right sub array and we have a new empty array which is b and we are representing each element of b with k and this is going to be your sorted array okay so by using the merge sort algorithm merge algorithm you are going to merge these two arrays into this single array okay let us see how that is going to work first what you have to do is you have to compare l of i and r of j okay so whichever is greater whichever is smaller 
that will go into the array the array b okay that means you have to compare l of i and r of j that is you have to compare first element of left array and first element of right array you are comparing 1 and 3 which is greater among 1 and 3 one, sorry which is smaller among 1 and 3 1 so you are placing 1 into your sorted sub array okay and you are considering it as k got it so now since you have placed the element of the left sub array into the sorted array you are going to increment the i that means you are going to do i plus plus okay that means i is going to come here now okay now i the l of i value is 5 okay next now again compare l of i and r of j l of i and r of j which is smaller that will go into the array b right among these both which is smaller 3 is smaller so 3 is smaller you are incrementing k also here okay now you have placed 3 since you placed the element from right sub array now you are going to do j plus plus okay j plus plus means this j will come here okay and you will do k plus plus also okay next why k plus plus you can forget about k for time being because k is little confusing because we have i and j both k we needed to understand the algorithm to write the algorithm we need k okay otherwise we don't need k now co again compare l of i and r of j what is l of i now 5 and what is r of j 10 among 5 and 10 which is smaller 5 so you are placing 5 into your sorted array so which so you have placed element from which array you placed it from the left array so you have to increment the value from the left array okay now again compare l of i and r of j which is greater among both of them sorry which is smaller among both of them 8 so you are placing 8 into your sorted array so again you are going to do i plus plus now compare l of i and r of j 15 and 10 which is smaller 10 so you are going to place 10 into the sorted array so since you have placed the element from this array you are going to increment j so it is going to become j plus plus okay next again compare l of i and r of j so what is l of i 15 and r of j is 16 15 is lesser or 16 is lesser 15 so place 15 into the array now again update i you have updated i so now again compare l of i and r of j 24 and 16 which is lesser 16 so place 16 into the array next update j so you have updated j so now l of i and r of j 24 and 20 which is lesser 20 so place 20 into the array got it you don't have anything to increment it so you can stop it at this point the list j is completed that list i mean the list r is completed so now what is remaining just 24 is remaining right so you can place that 24 directly into the sorted array okay so this is going to be your new sorted array so how we sorted this by using the merge algorithm now i will show you the merge algorithm how it works okay so first merge a low mid high that is your merging low mid high values in the array a so initially i is equal to low and j is equal to mid plus one okay next while i is less than or equal to mid and j is less than or equal to high that means you are comparing if i is less than or equal to mid and j is less than or equal to high so i is equal to low yeah i is equal to low the lowest element and then j is equal to mid plus one so what is the mid value of this array four right zero plus eight divided by two so the mid value is four and you are starting j at mid plus one so mid plus one is five four plus one five so you are starting j at mid plus one. while i is less than or equal to mid zero is less than or equal to four and j is less than or equal to eight five is less than or equal to eight that means if if i is becoming greater than mid that is if i is crossing this we are not this algorithm this loop is not valid okay and if j is crossing this value then 
this loop is not valid okay so here if a of i is less than or equal to a of j that is what we are doing right we are comparing a of i and a of j so if a of i is less than or equal to a of j then we are placing this a of j into the sat sorted array b and then we are incrementing i and we are incrementing k if not else means what here if a of i is greater than a of j that means if a of j value is less than a of i okay then what we are doing we are placing the element from this right sub array into the sorted list right so you are placing the element from the right sub array that is from j into the sorted list and you are incrementing j you are incrementing k okay done so as long as this condition is satisfied this loop can be executed for example if i is greater than mid that is if i reached the end of the loop and it became greater than mid then what you will do if there are any remaining elements from j you will place those remaining elements into the sorted array and if there if j has reached the end of the array you will check for i and if there are any remaining elements in i you will place them into the sorted array right so we are doing the same story here if i is greater than mid you are checking if there are any elements present in j if yes you are placing those elements into the sorted array you are incrementing j and you are incrementing k okay and in case if j is greater than high then what you are doing that is if j has reached the end of the array then you are checking if there are any elements in the left sub list and if there are any elements you are placing those elements into the sorted array and you are incrementing i and k okay so this is about this merge function this is about this merge algorithm okay let me try to zoom in it for you so that you can take screenshot you can i think i have to zoom it in more yeah this is so you can take the screenshot of the algorithm i will show you the algorithm for merge sort as well yeah so this is your merge sort algorithm okay and this is your time complexity for merge sort so this is your main merge sort algorithm inside that how this merge function will work this is the example for that okay so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts in the any doubts uh, let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video